Okay, so uh, we'll start off talking about a beam. And we've got this on two pivots. We're not going to put any sideward force on this beam. And we're going to locate a mass bang in the middle of 12 kilonewtons. So if we're going to tackle this problem using the approach that the sum of forces in the x-direction and the sum of the forces in the y-direction have to be zero, what do we get? So we're going to do this first by all by summing forces in the x-direction. So what forces can I see going in the x-direction? Well, nothing. So nothing equals nothing. Now let's repeat this for the forces in the y direction. A good approach is to um, skim through your beam from left to right and add up your forces as you go through your beam. So the first force that I can see, so we're summing up forces in the y direction. The other bit of notation I should have put on is, is tell you which way I've decided to take as positive for my force. That's going to be the in that direction, and which way is going to be positive in the y direction. Okay, so I'm going to sum up my forces in the y direction, and I'm going to f um, see what I get. So we're going to have R A is going to be positive. Then I'm going to uh, get minus 12 going downwards. So we're going to work in kilonewtons, and then I'm going to have RC and that's all the forces I've got and they've got to equal zero. Fair enough. So let's rewrite this equation. So we'll keep the unknowns on the left. RA plus RC equals 12. Now this is such a, a simple problem. I could say, well, I know by inspection that the force pushing down, um, the, the reaction force at RA and the reaction force at RC, if this is bang in the middle, must be the same. Well, if that's the case, let's, um, let's treat that as my equation 1. <coughs> and this is my equation 2. Let's substitute in that RC equals RA. Let's work out the RA first. Uh, so that gives us that uh, RA plus RA equals 12. Okay. Therefore, we can say that we're going to have RA equals 12 divided by 2, which is going to be 6. Okay. When you do your solutions, please don't do them along the line like this. I'm only doing it because I don't have much space to write my solutions out. Try and do them so that they're under a line each time. Anyway, let's. Uh, so we've got the R A equals six. So therefore, R C equals six. Let's put our units on the end. And then we've solved the problem. Okay, so um, that's that all sounds straightforward. So we've found some reactions at the beam, kind of kind of what we could have guessed. We wouldn't have to really bother doing all the mass. So you've got 12 kilonewtons pushing down. I'd expect there to be a reaction force of so six kilonewtons pushing up and six kilonewtons pushing up, assuming that the 12 kilonewtons is not in the middle. So what about uh, a case where um, uh, that we don't have it in the middle, it's sort of to the side of it. We're going to have to do something a bit more than taking this assumption here. And that's where the moments 
the equilibrium of moments comes in. Okay. Um, right, so for this problem, I'll do that we've got a beam. So previously, you could say my beam was, I don't know, two meters long, w uh, one meter um, uh, in the middle, I've got the 12 kilonewtons. So this time, let's say I've got one meter here. All right. And that I've got two meters here. Right, so I've got my RA here, my RC here, and I've uh, put it onto this, my same way, onto this beam, and it's going to be 12 kilonewtons there at the top. Okay. So, what about how to solve this problem? Well, we're going to do the sum of forces in the x direction equals zero, the sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero, and this time we're going to do the sum of moments equals zero. And where we're going to choose to do the sum of moments could be anywhere on my body, but normally we would pick uh, usually the most left pivot usually or we might pick where a, a hinge is we'll come on to hinges later right so let's go through this process so first of all let's sum up our forces in the x direction okay well we don't have any so zero equals zero so it's sort of a redundant equation not bother with it We've done that going left to right. Now let's sum up our forces going upwards. And when we add all those forces together, they need to equal zero as well. Right. So we have R A plus um sorry I'm gonna I'm gonna go through this one here and I was gonna go on to R C. R A plus <coughs> going upwards and then I'm gonna have going down minus 12 plus RC going up equals 0. Okay. Okay, I made a mistake there. So let's um, get my unknowns onto the left-hand side. And we have RA plus RC equals 12. And that will be my first equation. Right, so I'm going to take moments now. As I said, you can take moments anywhere you like on the on the body, but usually the good place to take them is at the um, at the leftmost pivot. So we're going to take them here. Okay. And remember, I'm going to I'm going to have that um, if things are going positive, if they're going around clockwise, then we're going to treat them to be positive. Okay. So the notation I'm going to use for that is I'm taking moments. I want them to add up. I want to sum them up that they equal to zero, and I want to do that at the location A and I'm going to go around and I'm going to take moments in a positive clockwise sense. So I'll draw a little clockwise symbol like that. So what do I get this time? So the first one I'm going to get is a moment is force times distance so we've got 12 times 1. That arrow is going downwards. This clockwise symbol is going downwards, so it's a positive one. Next one, I can see from here to here is 3 meters. Uh, I've scrubbed up my 1 meter there. So it's uh, 1 meter plus 2 meter, 3 meters in total. And the RC force is going upwards. 
so it's going in the opposite direction of this clockwise face so it's going to be a negative moment so minus 3 meters times RC notice I put the 3 at the front because it looks better than putting it at the, at the end so we want that to all sum up and uh, equal 0 so what can we get with this well we can leave this on the left hand side take this over to the right hand side so it becomes negative and then we've got a minus and a minus on either side so we'll end up with 3 RC equals 12 right so let's simplify that so we're going to have that RC equals 12 divided by 3 so that equals 4 kilonewtons right so let's go back to equation 1 here and we've got RC equals 4 kilonewtons so equation 1 says that RA plus RC equals 12 let's substitute in my RC equals 4 and we're going to have RA plus 4 equals 12 so therefore RA equals 8 kilonewtons so before we leave that solution think to ourselves does that seem to make sense well I've got more force pushing down on this side than on this side and since the uh, the load is more over to the left that seems to be right so my solution does seem to make sense so this is the basic format that we are going to use every time for when we're coming to work out concentrated um, loads and we want to find the reaction points that's all we have to do of course our problems will be more tricky than these simple problems So let's do a uh, a tricky one, and then leave uh, this session here. Okay, so my tricky problem is going to be a six meter long beam. I'm going to have um, I'm going to label my beam up as position A, position B, position C, and position D. Between each position we've got 2 meters, 2 meters, and 2 meters. Um, and I put too many pivots on, so I? Nice. So I am going to where am I going to have my pivots? I have I have a pivot at B. There we go, and a pivot at D. Okay, so let's scrub that one. Uh, so we have ten. kilonewtons coming down here at position A and we have a hundred kilonewtons coming down here at position C so let's go through our process we're going to sum up forces in the x-direction and they should equal zero sum up forces in the y-direction and they should equal zero sum up moments going around some location on my beam and that should equal zero okay so um, let's start off with summing up forces in the x direction and we can see that we've got no forces going the x direction so zero equals zero next stage is let's sum up forces going in the y direction uh, 
Okay, so we have uh, we're going to take arrow going upwards to be positive. So we've got ten going downwards. This is going to be a reaction point, and this is going to be a reaction point there. So I've got plus R B going upwards. Then I've got a hundred going downwards. Okay, and then I've got plus R D going upwards. Okay, so let's bring our unknowns together on the left hand side. So we have R B plus R D on the left hand side. Minus 10 and minus 100 goes on the right hand side, and we're going to have 110 on the right hand side. Okay, so we'll label that up as equation 1. Now let's uh, look at uh, doing the moments. And we could choose where we like now, but it's normally normally the, the, uh, the one to choose is the left, most left hand pivot, which is this B position there. Okay, so I'm going to go for that convention. So sum up moments at B and go round clockwise. Okay. Right, so when you're doing that, good idea to get color pen, label your pivot, and label your clockwise motion on the right hand side and on the left hand side. Now the reason for doing that is because then you can look to see if that arrow is pointing in the same direction of this arrow. If this arrow and this arrow are pointing in opposite directions, then you know you have a negative moment. If this arrow and this arrow are pointing in the same direction, then you know you have a positive moment. So the first one we can see is going to be a negative moment. So let's do that now. So I've got minus 10 times by 2, so that's my 10, and that's my 2 meters to get to the pivot. And then I've got plus 100 times by 2 to get from here to here. Okay, because that arrow is pointing in the same direction that arrow. Now this arrow is pointing downwards, this arrow is pointing upwards, so that must be a negative. So we have minus 4 rd equals 0. Okay, so a little bit of jazz, rearranging it. Do you see that you get 4 rd equals 100? equals 180. Okay. Take a pause for a moment there. So see we've got 200 here. Take away 20 here. So we're going to have 200. Take away 20 is 180. Okay, so that's where the 180 comes from. So Pause the video if, uh, if that's not making sense. Now, we divide through by 4, so 4 into 180 goes, goes once, 90 goes again, uh, so that would be 45. Halve it and halve it again. Kilonewtons. So that's my RD. And then we've got, go back to our equation one, the same process as we did with the previous problem, and we will substitute in our RD. So we have RB, so from, from equation one, RB plus 45 equals 110. So therefore, RB, B equals 145 take away, sorry, 110 take away 45 
Let's get my calculator out so I don't make a mistake. So 110 take away 45 equals 65, the calculator says. Okay, so let's think about it. Our final solution, does that seem to make sense? Uh, we've got weight going down here, a lot of weight going down here. I expect a lot of lot to be pushing down on this side and we have the highest reaction down on the left hand side so the solution appears to look valid.